Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that I've been gone for two weeks. I am so sorry, but honestly, I wasn't feeling myself. I was not feeling good because it's been a year since I'm here and it just makes me really sad to don't be with my mom and my family and just don't be able to see them again for another year. As of right in my last video, I think it was, no, like two videos ago, um, I can't see them till I finish my second year, so I can't go back home. And okay, just no more excuses. And today this video, as you already know, it's about how to get a driver license. I really hope that this video can help you, I guess, I don't know. I'm just making it because sometimes there have been a few videos that have been asking me about the driver license. So this is my experience so far how to get an ex uh, how to get the driver license it's not that difficult but it was for me at the beginning because when i came here um i didn't have something that they ask you to get your driver license and it is called your i-94 number your i-94 form which is a number like says or it gives them the information about how many times you have been here so they needed that i didn't have it and i wanted to get it online because you can get it online but i was having problems and it took me longer than four months so i didn't have my driver license like for four months when i was here so i couldn't drive because i also didn't get my uh, international driver license which doesn't work here because you really have to get your California driver license like you can probably drive with your international driver license for the first weeks but then you need to really get your California driver license okay so um, what I did to get this driver license uh, what you need to have is first thing you think your passport you cannot move in the country without your passport at least at least you cannot move without this if you don't have any identification from you California you also need your social security number which I am not I have it here but I'm not gonna show it on camera because it is a number and that number that you have to have it here I don't have it yet but I, I'm I'm getting there <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but this number um, let me see it says First item it says, keep your car in a safe place to prevent loss or tell. What is that? That someone can take your name? Which is not good, especially if you're an helper. So, no way, no. That number is really important for you. So that's one of the first thing that you have to get when you get into the United States. And yeah, it's, I, I don't know, it's just really important here. It's just like your ID. You cannot do almost anything without that. It's just as important as your passport, as your California driver license, I think. I don't know. Besides your passport and your social security number, you also need uh, your I-94. That's what I was telling you. You can get it online. I've been here in United States for just one time, like just one time. And so that's the only thing that it says. I've been here for one time. When did I get here? This date. And I came to this place, LAX, the airport that I came. You also need your DS2019. It is like a certificate or something that it says that you're an Albert and you're going to be here for this long time, for one year, two years or whatever. And it is like, it, basic, it basically says that you are allowed to be in the United States. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's all what you need. Oh, oh, I was forgetting. Also, what you need is your car insurance and the other paper. I don't know how it goes, but that they, your house mom and your house dad, they need to give you that. I remember, um, but they need to give you that, so don't worry about it. I think that you have also to pay something. I don't, know, I don't think that it's more than thirty dollars. I think. I, I, I don't think so. I did had the all this the first time that I went to the DMV I had an appointment because you need to get an appointment because otherwise you're gonna have to spend the whole day there if you don't have an appointment I went there and I didn't have my I-94 I-94 form that is so difficult to say but um I I had to go back to DMV without an appointment really early in the morning like by 6 something like that it, it didn't take me like the whole day it was really busy and i was really tired of being just waiting there but you 
have to do what you have to do. It is what it is. You have to get your driver's license, go and get your driver's license. So yes, uh, I did get my uh, my driver's license. I had to take a test. Um, so I really recommend you have to study. Some rules are really tricky. And most of them, they put it on your, on your test. If you are lucky, you have really easy questions, but if you're not lucky, like me, they're gonna ask you random things that you're gonna be like, what the heck, what is this? So yes, then they told me that I had to take a driver te drive, drive, driving test, drive test, drive, drive test, yes. So I had to make an appointment for that. You have to make an appointment for that. You, you cannot go and just take it, you just, I want to see how you are driving, if you are not dangerous, if you are not going to kill anybody. And yes, I did pass, so I got my driver's license. And on Monday, I went again, I had an appointment to renew my driver's license, because I needed it. It's very easy, I thought that they were going to make me take a test, which I was kind of freaking out. But no, I didn't have to take a test. And, oh, they take your picture, so go, go, you know, a little bit like with makeup a little bit just to look just to don't look like a ghost in the picture or like whatever he doesn't care for me because honestly I'm really bad at the pictures in driver license and any ID so that's it for this video guys hope you find this video really helpful and give it a huge thumbs up if you like it and, and see you in my next video oh and also don't forget to go and check out my friend's book, online book. I really recommend that online book. Just go and check it out. Let me know what you think about it down below in the down, down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. And if you are subscribed, just keep waiting for more videos. I have tons of ideas. I am so sorry if I don't upload videos that often but it's just you know trying to be an helper trying to have fun and also trying to make my channel grow up it's i have to you know thank you so much for the support and all the subscribers and all your comments i know they are not a lot every single subscriber and every single comment and every single thumbs up makes me to make more videos and if you want me to keep doing it i will do it I don't know till when, but yes, so best of and see you in my next video. I love you so much and bye.